Whether you're trying to lose fat or you're trying to gain muscle, the choices that you make at the grocery store are massively going to impact your results. So I'm about to share with you guys 10 different pro tips that helped me absolutely massively as a vegan bodybuilder, and we're gonna walk through a grocery store together as we find out about these tips. Let's do it. All right, so tip number one, whenever you're at a grocery store, pretty much no matter where you are, there's always gonna be a vegan section. If you didn't know this, you probably have missed out on a lot of stuff. In California, there's definitely a lot of them. So we've got like, you know, plant-based meats. We usually have your tofu and your tempehs right here, but it's always, for me, in the refrigerated section, and it's always packed together. So look for it. Okay, so number two, this is gonna save you so much time. If you're not sure if something is or is not vegan, instead of going to the back of the ingredients and reading each one, water, vegetable oil, stearate, buttermilk, oh, there we go. Instead, just look at the end of the ingredients list, and in America, at least, they have to list legally the allergies. So it'll say contains, this one says egg, milk, soy. It'll also tell you if it has wheat, alcohol, and a few other things. But you can just see, oh, egg, not vegan. Oh, milk, not vegan. So basically just look, and if it doesn't have any of those things, then you can start looking through the ingredients list to make sure, but you can save yourself a lot of time by just not looking through the ingredients list if it already contains egg and milk. Okay, what the hell are we doing over in the meat section, right? steaks, ground beef, all that kind of stuff. Well, if you've had a hard time identifying where vegan burgers or sausages or eggs or anything like that is, a lot of times nowadays, they will put the vegan stuff right in with the meats. That way I think that people who are looking for ground beef from cows might run into the Impossible Burger or the Beyond Burger. But a lot of times it is just really cleverly mixed in with all the non-vegan stuff. We have a little bit of a, a dog companion friend here. <laughs> His name is Buddy. <laughs> oh wait, don't don't film don't film this. Okay, so what you should probably do before you go to the grocery store is eat first. Because if you don't, you're gonna have all that low blood sugar telling you to eat all the bad foods. You're probably gonna get a lot of snack food, a lot of junk food, a lot of ice cream that you didn't originally plan on doing. So eat first. Don't go to the grocery store while you're hungry. <laughs> You're working for the grocery store over here, man. <laughs> okay, look, I know a lot of you guys have a uh, world's most adult trophy sitting on your mantle, but a lot of us don't, and adulting is pretty hard, so a lot of us will buy those vegetables, let them sit in our fridge all week, eat the ice cream, eat the chicken nuggets, and then by the end of the week, our vegetables have gotten rotten. So if you are like that and you have a hard time adulting and eating your vegetables before they spoil, it really is not a bad idea to just buy your vegetables frozen. There's actually no nutritional difference. If anything, there actually might be more nutritious benefits locked in when they freeze it, but you also don't have to worry about when you're binging on vegan chicken nuggets and having your vegetables go bad. Hey, are you guys enjoying the tip so far? This is just the tip of the iceberg, as they say. There's a vast wealth of knowledge in my coaching program, the Vegan Battle Plan 2.0, which I just relaunched after doing some fine tuning. Very excited about it. So if you wanna get twice the results without having to do twice the effort, send me a DM, send me the words, get fit. You and me can chat and we can see if my coaching program is right for you. Now let's get back to the tips. Okay, this is more of a tip just to get you to try different things. But each week, try something new. Even if it's something you always get, like a milk or a nugget or something like that, it will make your life more exciting. If every week you try just one new thing, this is especially helpful if you are somebody who doesn't have a lot of cooking skill, you don't really know a lot about different foods or how to cook or make foods, try one new thing a week. It could even be a new meal that you're trying, got from Instagram or something like that, just so that you expand your horizons and eventually you build up your repertoire of staple meals. Okay, so next up, this is for those of us who have a little bit of a sweet tooth, like the person holding camera, my girlfriend, Sammy. If you have a hard time controlling how you're eating each week, a lot of times it's because we've stocked up and we have now five and six and seven half-eaten ice cream tubs in our freezer. We have a bunch of different options for brownies and cakes. So we just have so many options, it makes it very easy to pull the trigger on it. So a tip is only choose one sweet a week to actually get. So instead of getting three different ice creams, just get one. Or if you just want to make some pastries 
or something, just get one. This will reduce your, basically like your temptation each week. Also, low key, these crusties, cinnamon streusels, they're vegan and they're very good. Okay, if you always shop at just general grocery stores, try shopping at specialty grocery stores like Mexican markets or Asian markets. The reason why is you will find a lot of very vegan friendly foods that aren't even necessarily made just for the fact that they're vegan, they just happen to be accidentally vegan. For example, if you go to Mexican markets, you can get something called carne de soya, which is just soy curls, but you usually can't find those anywhere in real life. There's also tons of different vegan already options at Asian markets that give you some really good flavors and expose you to some different things really good. Also, speaking of Mexican food, these baked tostadas are so good. They've only got 0.5 grams of fat per tostada, and I really like them. They're Guerrero. Okay, this one is big, especially if you're new to actually doing your own grocery shopping and you really kind of don't know what's going on. You always go in there and you just feel kind of lost and you're just picking random stuff. You get home and then you don't have a bunch of things that now you can think of. Make a list, put it on your phone, add to it throughout the week. It's gonna be really helpful, obviously. But also what's really helpful is having like a staple grocery list that you build off of, right? So I'll put a sample grocery list in the description below. But a really good starting place is to always get potatoes, some grains, some vegetables, some fruits, and some protein. It's pretty much gonna make sure you have a well-rounded diet throughout the week that you can choose from. Okay, obviously if you're at the grocery store and you're trying to gain muscle, you are going to need to choose some things that are very high in protein. Some really good ones just off the top of my head, lentils, quinoa, tofu, tempeh, seitan. Those are all super packed with protein. There's obviously a lot more, but if you're always just thinking, what can I get for protein? Ah, I can get lentils, tempeh, quinoa, seitan, tofu. It's always a good choice. They're almost like your, like your chicken of the vegan world. So, some lentils going in the back. Okay, so there you have it. 10, I feel like, very useful tips when it comes to going to the grocery store as a vegan so that you can make gains as quickly as possible. Also, if you haven't heard the echo in this place, we're at an Airbnb that literally feels like I, I rented a, a trap house. It's so bad. Why is it so echoey? It's bad, it's not good. So those are just 10. I mean, there's so many more. So if you have any tips that popped up that I didn't mention that you wanna put in the comments below, definitely helps everybody else. So do that, you son of a gun. Make sure you like the video, of course, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you sexy people in the very next video. Yeah.